What you guys got another video here for you on how not to buy a used gaming PC. Now this is a company called Best Buy. It's a massive company in America and you may be mistaken to think that these are now selling used gaming PCs and that's not the case. These are third party sellers selling PCs under the banner of Best Buy, which I think can actually damage a company like that by doing uh, overinflated prices for old office PCs. Now you can see this one's called Gaming PC. It's actually an HP 800G1 small form factor uh, PC, which is made for the office and someone has converted it into a gaming PC. You can see that word refurbished and it does come with a new uh, Nvidia GT 1030 two gigabyte graphics card, which cost around about 85 bucks. So as you can see, it doesn't owe them a lot of money, it owes them $85 because they get these for free du during the uh, upgrade of Office PCs and they get pallets of them. There's hundreds of thousands of these all over the world and you never really want to be paying a lot of money for these because they're not worth anything. They've got a lot of restrictions, they've got proprietary parts in them which means they're proprietary to HP. You can get around a lot of that stuff. Uh, but the upgrade path to these is pretty much zero. You're restricted with the low profile graphics cards as well. And again, the GT 1032 gigabyte is probably pushing this little office PC uh, to the limits because it's only got a 240 watt power supply in this unit here, which is uh, pretty low. And again, you really want to keep that down as low as possible because this graphics card requires a 300 watt power supply and also 30 watts of operational power, which can really push the uh, the limits of this little office PC here. And that can cause problems like really overheating, uh, shutting down, catching fire, all sorts of problems when you're pushing too much uh, through these little uh, power supplies here. So bear that in mind when you're uh, buying these types of units. And that is also why uh, Nvidia recommend uh, a certain type of power supply for these so you don't run into any sort of problems. It will run and it will boot up and it will play games to a degree, but again, you've got to be very, very careful. So let's take a look at the next one. We've got a gaming PC here for a Dell 7010 small form factor. This is an office PC small form factor. Really wasn't designed for uh, gaming, but it does come with an i7 processor in here. It's a 3770. 32 gigabytes of RAM and 500 gigabyte SSD and a GTX 1650 Windows 10 Pro and refurbished as they like to use so it's had a little bit of a cleanup what they do is they get a pallet of these uh, machines and they will pick out the best ones take cannibalize all the parts out of the old rubbish ones and then boost up the RAM and everything else everything is used in this PC apart from the GTX 1650 I think I think that will be new and again, the upgrade to Windows 10 Pro is free. So it's really not cost them much. It's probably got $175 owing on this uh, little machine for them. 32 gigabytes of RAM is proper overkill. Probably never ever gonna utilize all of that RAM in this little system. But again, $899.67. That's really too much for this sort of system. And also, also this GTX 1650 uh, needs a recommended 300 watt power supply uh, and that's what's recommended by Nvidia themselves the Dell 7010 small form factor has a 240 watt power supply in it and again I've used GTX 1050 Ti's in these and they do work and do run but I wouldn't recommend doing that for long periods of time because it's going to cause a problem and again as as I said 75 watts operational power for uh, that 1650 a card there and recommended 300 watt power supply so you've got only an SSD in there as soon as you start putting extra drives in and stuff like that you're going to run into some problems a lot more power draw and again it can cause problems if you're playing games for long periods of time that power supply is going to start to get hot and it's going to start to run at its maximum capacity and you can cause problems so be very very careful when you're pushing the limits of these little systems here and 899 dollars it's way too much it doesn't owe them that much money they're just trying to rip people off and you're saving a 399 dollars as well for that and again that even that would be too much to ask for an old dell 7010 so moving on to the next one we do have a hp gaming pro 600 g1 tower and again this is at least a tower but they want a whopping 760 dollars for it 
and it can save up to a thousand dollars wow it's never worth that much to be honest any of them prices is just way too much but what you're getting here is an i5 4590 which is a fourth gen i5 16 gigs of ram 60 gig ssd and a two terabyte hard drive and a 1650 uh, graphics card in there now all of these parts are used apart from the graphics card as far as i know and again they use the uh, word refurbished microsoft authorized refurbisher i mean really it's just had a blowout and a bit of a cleanup upgraded to windows 10 which they do for free and they've got these from offices they're not buying these and then selling them extortionate prices they've done a massive rollout on an office got pallets of these pulling out the good ones and basically uh, making a machine out of it by putting some of the ssd in there and they're all used parts and basically dropping in a gtx 1650 on that system now why haven't they give it a major overhaul and and spent a load of money on it and then give you a decent system well the reason why is because they don't want the headaches because all the proprietary parts in here can cause major problems you can get uh, cables to you reuse the power supply but again the power supply you're going to have to upgrade yourself if you want anything more powerful than that and again if you want to change certain things you're going to run into certain issues i've done videos on this before these have been glorified on youtube uh, so much that now people uh, want to make them into gaming systems let's take a look at another one here on this site you can see this is the hp z230 gaming computer it's not a gaming computer it's a small form factor hp z230 office pc and it looks absolutely ridiculous it's a real piece of junk it really is and why you would want to spend 898 dollars and 91 cents on something like this is beyond me and you can save a whopping 701 dollars on this it was never worth any of those figures up there and how much would I pay for this? Now it does have an i7 4790 with 16 gigabytes of RAM and 120 gig solid state drive and a two terabyte hard drive with a GTX 1050 Ti. So that's what you can see inside that machine. Again, really, what would that be worth in 2020? It's if that's all used parts. I mean. $200 is it worth that much? I suppose you've got an i7 47. 90 and also 16 gigs of ram and stuff so yeah maybe around about that i would i would pay for that because it has got a 1050 ti in there which is also sellable it's all low profile it's got no upgrade path in it you can't do anything it's it's that's what it is what you'll see there is what you're going to get and again you're pushing the limits of that little power supply here we have a lenovo m82 small form factor intel i7 3770 uh, which is a third gen i7 16 gigs of ram and 256 solid state drive and a new 1030 and you've got the rgb here on the light <laughs> this goes i think blue or something like that it lights up so it, it's not worth 500 dollars that's for sure and we've got 401 dollars saving but again it's just a rip off it really is again how much is that card worth 80 dollars now some of these parts do have some value to them like the i7 3770 still a very good chip in uh, 2020 you can still do quite a bit of stuff with it but it is overpriced and a lot of people are charging way too much for something that's used and again when you can get the ryzen 3 3100 for around about 90 to 100 which will outperform this i7 3770 all day long and it's uh, cheaper and also brand new and you've got modern architecture and much more better upgradability so where are you going to buy something like a small form factor system where you're stuck with that? Your return of investment is gone straight down the swanee as soon as you buy it. Now I can understand that people want to buy some old retro nostalgia, something like this, and clean it up and have it as some sort of uh, project. And I can understand that, but to pay that amount of money for it, it's just a complete waste of money. And looking at this one here, HP Gaming Z440 Xeon E5-1620. It just looks an absolute monstrosity. It really does. 16 gigs of RAM, 256 gigabytes solid state drive, and a 500 gigabyte hard drive, and a GTX 1650. I think we're getting the pattern here. $849.99 for something that's, you know, been living in some sort of back office somewhere, working away 24 hours a day. And it's just not worth that much. It really isn't. And 
even though it does certain things like play games there's a lot of youtubers that promote this sort of stuff as gaming and it really is what it is it's just an office system with a ton of proprietary parts and loads of problems and again how would you put this up against an 850 dollars modern day pc what would it look like like that you're paying 850 dollars for that compared to something that you can see on youtube where someone is building an 850 dollar pc there's that it's like night and day it really is there's two different types of uh, pcs there and i know which one i'd go for this is just absolutely ridiculous it really is and all it is is just people selling their old crap off which they've pulled out of an office and trying to rip someone off i mean is that worth 900 bucks now of course if you do want to buy yourself a small form factor pc and you don't work in the industry don't go and pay 900 dollars for one you can pick these up pretty cheaply people are normally getting rid of them and again you will be able to pick these up for you know 25 to 30 bucks maybe 50 bucks and then you can just drop in a ssd and also a graphics card and you should be good to go from there don't be paying 900 dollars for them all of the parts in here are still usable in 2020 you can still use that i7 4770 most people will never even utilize that amount of processing power uh, but again it's just really the right price for the right thing it's an old type of processor all of this stuff is used so how much is it really worth it's really not worth 900 bucks that's for sure and also on newegg as well this is another third party seller on newegg it's a hp gaming uh, pc desktop core i7 and an nvidia gtx 1650 and an ssd plus one terabyte and 12 gigabytes of ram with windows 10. This has been pulled straight out of you know someone's uh, office and basically been converted into a gaming system and really that's what you're going to get as 688 bucks is it worth it no it's not it's not worth that amount of money so why are people concentrating on selling old stuff like this is because they're freely available there's thousands upon thousands of them and some people work in the industry and they get them for free and of course what they do is upgrade them just like you're seeing here and they use all old parts apart from the graphics card and then they sell them at extortionate amounts of money and they're making a massive profit whereas if you was trying to build a pc for someone how much you're going to actually make profit on that machine you won't make as much money as you think you can by selling uh, pcs anymore because there's so many big companies doing it they can cut it right to the bone and it's very very difficult to compete against those big uh, brick and mortar stores that you'll see in the states that are selling those here's another one for you this is a trusted uh, one on youtube the uh, dell optiplex 7020 there's loads of different versions of these this is an i5 4570 and again 16 gigs of ram same old pattern really the worrying thing i see here is that 40 reviews which means it could be possibly 40 people that have paid that amount of money for it which is an absolute madness it really is some people being ripped off big time and 900 dollars for an old system like this i mean really it's probably cost them absolutely nothing just putting a graphics card in there and then putting up a price of 900 bucks that is a serious amount of cash it really is and people like newegg need to look at this because it shines bad light onto their company and their name which they've built up over the years and that's my personal opinion on it i just wouldn't have that at selling under my name like that it's just not worth it because it damages you in the long run now one last thing i want to show you just before i wrap this video up is graphics cards you can purchase these online and of course you can get one of these awesome graphics cards which is the rtx 2080 tie triple fan and you can get it for just a measly 92 dollars and 99 cents of course you can only have one per customer and you're probably going to end up with an empty box with a brick inside because you're not going to get an rtx 2080 ti triple fan for 92 dollars and 99 cents why would you go and buy any of the cards below which are well below par compared to that card and they're all roughly the same price you would have to be completely mad to believe any of that nonsense and these are the sites that are all over the internet so be very very careful when you stumble on these sort of sites because they are a complete ripoff you'll probably never get your money back and uh and you would have been scammed privacy protection 100 percent high quality items hassle-free return 
I mean, it's all just a scam. Guaranteed safe checkout. 24-7 customer service support. You know, I mean, what are you getting there? Oh, you're probably just buying a box. So let's take a look at some specs on PCs that you can buy for that sort of money. And there's tons of them out there. And again, at $900 or $894, you can have this one here, which has a 1660 Super in it and a Ryzen 5 1600. Now, of course, you can upgrade these and change these. These are just people's builds that they've built, and I'm not sure when this was built. But again, you can choose which parts you want to build your own PC, but I'm pretty sure that you can spend a bit of time to pick your own parts to suit your needs. This is a very nice looking system for the money. And again, he's done a pretty good job at picking out some good parts here. And again, I know where I would spend my money rather than buying something like he's bought there. This has an NVMe drive on it as well, which is super fast. You've also got 16 gigabytes of RAM on here, B450 motherboard, decent cooler, decent processor, two terabytes of hard drive and a 1660 Super. So it's got a, even a better graphics card than what they're offering. And you're getting a decent case as well. Upgradability on this a decent system all round and it's a you know same sort of price so why would you go and buy something like those old systems when you can have something like this now of course i've not spec this out i could sit here and make a, a, another system similar to this one as well and spec it out again he's picked those parts himself and this might have been some time ago but it looks a pretty tidy system for me i know which one i would prefer rather than uh, buying that old office pc if you don't like the rgb then just put standard fans in it it's as simple as that and you get yourself a really nice pc let's take a look at some other ones here and just uh end this video off on a good note and change some of the good stuff that you can buy with proper money without watching some of these people on youtube promoting absolute rubbish with old systems like that so let's take a look here at another one here and uh, what we got here is $857 is one here and this has a Ryzen 5 3600 B450 also 16 gigs of RAM again it's got one terabyte SSD in here and a 1660 Super and that is for the same price and a really decent case as you can see here I know which one I'd pick out of the two and that's pretty simple for me it doesn't take much working out but again you're getting something that's going to be upgradable faster better modern and again it looks nicer too and if you don't like the rgb that's fine you can build something without rgb on there as well let's just do one more pc and take a look at this next one this is a uh, 665 dollars and again you can get a really nice little pc here and this has got the uh, Ryzen 5 2600 Hyper 212 uh, Black Edition and B450 16 gigs of RAM and you've got a, a 256 gig SSD one terabyte drive here 1660 Super and again he's done a really nice job on that build as you can see here so don't get ripped off on the internet if you need a PC built and you don't know how to build them there's plenty of people out there that will do them for you i'll even do a pc build for you for free as long as you're paying the parts and the shipping i will build that for you no problem at all uh, if you're in the uk that is of course if you're in the states it's going to be a lot more difficult because the shipping will cost an absolute fortune but other than that i think that's going to be about it you can do your own research on this you can pick your own parts out to suit your needs and again you will get a much better deal by building your own and you'll get a much better looking PC with better upgradability. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video helps you out, guys. It's a bit of a ranty video because I do get a bit fed up with seeing these sort of sites and people overpricing old hardware like that. But again, it had to be done and I want to get the word out there so people don't fall for this stuff. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.